newbies guide to getting consulting clients part one of two now if you ask any person starting off in consulting the number one fear they have is how do I get a client oh my god it's gonna be so scary I'm gonna have to sell somebody I just don't know what to do I don't know how to do it when in fact it doesn't have to be like that it can be really easy to get clients and you don't have to use that hardcore sales either in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to get consulting clients easy without any hardcore sale and we're starting right now hey I'm JR Fisher if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe there's a big subscribe button right down there see that right get it and there's a bell you gotta ring the bell that's the notification bell you want to be notified right you want to know when I do a video that way you don't have to go hunting and searching for it or worse yet miss out on something you hit that bell turn on all notifications you become part of the VIP family the Fisher family we're all VIPs and we all work on our businesses together I thank you so much for watching this video you know I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars worth of digital and physical products and all I do is share with you the tips tricks and techniques that you could use to build your online business and build your online presence now in this one here this is really close to my heart this particular video is going to be about how to get coaching clients or consulting clients whatever you want to call them and I've done it uh, I've done it in the past I don't do it that much now just because I don't have the time for it and I got to where I was charging a lot of money to do it and uh, it was uh, not that many people can afford those kind of rates though I had clients and that wasn't a problem the point is I didn't know I could get clients in the beginning and I want to share with you in this video how you can get clients how you don't have to be real salesy or anything like that and how you could earn a really good living by doing coaching and consulting a lot of the stuff you're going to learn online if you if you look at courses if you look at videos they're going to tell you all the places you can get clients but they never tell you how to win over those clients they never tell you how to get those clients to be lined up so that they can get coaching or consulting from you and that's what we're going to do in this video number one attract the right clients nothing could be more important than this uh, can you imagine having to spend hours with somebody you don't like or you really don't have the expertise to help them that's not what you want to do so the first step is we got to make sure we're attracting the right people I'm not saying that you're gonna get all your business from inbound contacts in other words people finding you online and contacting you um, that would be unrealistic in the beginning not that many people know you in the beginning and you're gonna to have to attract the right people but you're also also going to have to have them in the right frame of mind when you do talk to them the first thing I would suggest you do is present a good image online now that's going to be your social media that's going to be your websites that's going to be your content whatever it is you're watching me on this channel right now and this channel is all about making money online so you know this is one of my platforms where I put my information out there it's also my website uh, I put it out on my website it's also in my social media I put stuff out in my social media and I think it's really important when you're doing this and I, I did it in the beginning of this video is talk about what your credentials are people don't mind paying you if you have value uh, but you have to state what your value is now I've owned a company online for uh, since 2009 so you calculate it based on when you're watching this video and we've sold millions of dollars of products on that particular company and that's survival K food I then went into courses and you can google my name and find online courses about me um, we've done millions dollars in that too so the point is if you have these credentials a lot of people say well you're just bragging you kind of got to a little bit you got to brag about yourself a little bit because how are they going to know that you have value if you don't let them know you have value if you don't let them know what your experiences are if you don't let them know what you've achieved a lot of people when they hear what you've achieved if that's something they want to achieve too you know whether it's selling millions of dollars of you know digital products or physical products whatever it is they're looking to achieve they see that you've done it then they're gonna to want to work with you because you've already achieved what they wanted maybe you're a weight loss person maybe you lost 200 pounds you know that story should be out there if you're working in weight loss let them know where you started at then they're gonna be able to actually uh, bond with you because they're gonna see that you know you were just like them and you're at the spot they want to be now so they're more likely to want to get you know consulting from you now you may be thinking to yourself well how am I gonna put all this experience and all these achievements I'm just starting out how am I gonna do that well there are ways you can do that there are ways you can get these achievements a lot faster too so use your previous experience if you worked on a job and you were a financial advisor and 
the portfolio that you worked with gained 20% a year on average talk about that you know just talk to your previous employer make sure it's okay to do that um, if you're an SEO expert and you worked at another company doing SEO and the websites you worked on they achieved some big goals you know they got a thousand visitors or 10,000 or 100,000 whatever it was put that online too so that people know what you've done they've got to see these achievements the next thing is um, offer to work at a reduced rate you know find some people that are looking for consulting in your area and say hey I'll give you a, a half rate if you'll just rate me afterwards so I can get some ratings online I'm a new business and I'm starting out a lot of businesses would be thrilled to be able to pay half what that consulting job is to get the work done and they'll be happy to give you a good testimonial as long as you do good work for them now the last one a lot of you aren't gonna to want to do but I'm doing it right now I'm gonna tell you and I've earned millions of dollars and I'm still doing it right now here's what I'm doing I'm working for free you're watching this video right now and you're getting information on how to become a consultant how to become a coach uh, how to get clients and I'm teaching you for free now why would I do that well I do that because if I do that people are gonna see what I have to say they're gonna learn from it they're gonna get results they're gonna make money and a portion of those people will buy my courses they'll get training from me so I actually do make money but I'm actually working for free at the same time so that's another thing I would suggest to you is put that content out there and show you have value it will come back as a return on down the road I would say also clean up your social media accounts um, now I've always been pretty good about this I don't post anything controversial I don't get into politics online I never post anything like that but Google your name just Google your name you know this can be eye awakening for you um, you're always gonna have some people who are gonna say negative things about you uh, I had a couple people that gave me a bad Google review too okay in the past I don't know 10 years something like that and neither one of those people I had ever worked with they never bought a course from me I had never taught them anything they just randomly gave me a bad review you and that's going to happen no matter what but the point is if you've got some stuff out there that is you know kind of borderline that you don't want people to see I would suggest you removing it if you can you want to optimize your LinkedIn profile now, I don't I don't use LinkedIn much I really don't but I know it's a really important factor out there for those people who are like going for different jobs or whatever um, and if you're gonna be a consultant you might as well update that and let people know that you're now a consultant also because if they go to it and they see that you still work at ABC company they're gonna go well this guy isn't a consultant at all he must be doing this on the side so make sure you update all that now here's a few things you can do in LinkedIn to make your profile stand out a little bit more get found easier um, go in there and you'll want to change the keywords okay you see right here that are in your LinkedIn profile you can do that uh, fill out your entire profile make sure you use bullet points that summarize achievements and results from relevant work uh, and ask for recommendations too. you got to ask people for this you got to ask them for testimonials they don't just randomly give them to you there's a little box right here on LinkedIn that says ask to be recommended make sure you check that box right there update your blog I can't impress upon you enough uh, and I don't do this as much as I should it's hard to do everything uh, I spend a lot of time on YouTube these days but update your blog on a regular basis uh, if you're a business owner just sharing your ideas on a daily basis people will get in there and read that stuff and that'll be important to them and they'll get knowledge from it and it'll build you up as a consultant as an expert in your area don't forget if you got a website which you should uh, make sure you update that with Google make sure you get all your SEO done on there that you're supposed to do you know if you if you post things in your blog and if some ideas are like answer questions uh, uh, that clients have given you uh, clients ask you questions about particular things and you answer them. put that in your blog um, a lot of times I'll read somebody's blog and find out they're an expert or something and I'll contact them and talk to them about stuff and I've hired people by doing that so you've got to put your thoughts out there for free okay in many cases in the beginning so that you build this reputation now there are going to be those people who see that and they're going to say well this person has information I like what do I do next make sure you have a prominent work with me page uh, or program page that you offer or consulting services whatever it is make it easy for them to actually contact you now you should have a link at the bottom top somewhere in the middle of your blogs that say hey here's how you can get in touch with me if you want to work with me now here's an example right here from Jess creatives um, and they do it looks like websites this is right up here at the top you see this hire me button in the upper right corner that leads to her services that way if you want to work with her it's right there it's simple to do 
now another thing you could do is to turn jobs into consulting positions and here's what I mean by that a lot of companies are out there trying to hire uh, long-term full-time employees and maybe they've got a project to work on but they aren't sure what the future projects will be approach those companies and say well instead of hiring a marketing director why don't you let me work on your next project I'll do that next project for you and show you what I can do for you and maybe we can work long term later on now make it real clear when you talk to these people that you are not applying for the job what you're actually doing is offering your services on that particular project now some of the sites you may want to go to are indeed uh, angel list we work remotely and remote.co those are some real good sites for you to go to and offer your services once your consulting services are winding down with a client that doesn't mean it's necessarily an end it's really on how you approach it it's really important that your offboarding is as impressive as your onboarding if they see you're a professional when you leave um, that you stay in touch with them that you offer help on down the road then they're more likely to come back to you and hire you again so what I would do is send them a message and you know thank them for the business put some bullet points of all the things that you got accomplished for them ask them for their feedback this could be in the form of a testimonial or their permission to post that you worked with them uh, and you post that on your site and don't forget ask them if you have other business associates that have jobs that are similar to this please send them my way I'd be happy to help them out now I put a letter on a screen here uh, and this is kind of a template that you can use it says hi now that we're wrapping things up with blank uh, I wanted to review some of the things we've achieved while working together then you have a few bullet points there uh, it was a pleasure working with you and I'm so proud of the results we've seen together at the end of every project I like to ask my clients some questions so I can continue to improve my services if you're happy with my work I'd also like to use some of your answers in a testimonial on my website and marketing materials with your name and URL included is that okay with you please reply in line to these questions what made you decide to hire a blank what were some of the hesitations you had as you look for a consultant what results have I helped you achieve what did you like best about working with me what could I have done better and would you recommend me to your colleagues if so what kind of person do you think would benefit from working with me and number seven there anything else you'd like to add so that should just about wrap it up I don't have any time left okay I really appreciate you watching this video don't forget grab my free course in the description below it's a $97 course don't forget to subscribe turn on bell notifications that's all bell notifications so you join the Fisher family the VIP group that gets notified of all these videos I appreciate your time and watching this and I'll see you in the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.